Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to another Mini Figure Monday. And today mm -hmm. we're going to take a look at some Doctor Who products. Who? We haven't looked at... Yeah, Doctor Who. Who? Doctor Who. Who? You bought these. You know what they are. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. So, all right. We're, we're going to look at some Doctor Who figures, and hopefully you know who that is. Maybe you are. So, what do we have here today, who Andrea? Who are you? I, I... Oh, it's going to be that kind of an episode today. It totally is. Okay, so... These are um, micro, the Doctor Who micro figures in display bricks. This is Wave 4, um, and it's a blast from the past because this came out in 2012. And these are made by a company called Character Options Limited. Very catchy name. Yeah, yeah, just screams, come by me. Yeah, I don't know if this company's still around, unfortunately. We got these at a really great price, which might mean they don't exist anymore, or yeah, at least this line doesn't. Yeah, um, I mean, you can't. I couldn't find them on Amazon. Um, I know they have it on eBay, but... Yeah. I feel like I have seen this company in the past, though, with, like, yeah. ninth, 10th, and 11th Doctor. They did uh, sets, including, I remember, I think I've seen a TARDIS set, in fact. Yeah, which... I think they did a while ago. Well, yeah, clearly a while ago. Yeah. But, um, I don't know if they're around anymore, but I like that. It's Doctor Who, and I like them, so they're now mine. Yes. And maybe yours. We'll see how that goes. Eh, maybe. All right, so, why don't we get to opening these guys? Yes. Let's each take five, and... Okay. Well, hold on. First, we gotta talk about the, we gotta talk about this display real quickly. So, the one really cool thing about this is... These all connect. I mean, we're doing it loose because when we tried it before, I couldn't get the, them to disconnect. It's a little tight. It is very tight, but it's kind of cool because you can then create, um, you know, it even says constructible display bricks. So it's kind of cool. It's supposed to work with Lego, um, so that's also really neat. So, you know, have the doctor visit your different sets. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So, so all right, let's, take, let's each take five. Okay. Five. I'm break this down and we'll put our display up here. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So oh, we hold, also... hold on, real quick. I just want to show, since these accidentally did connect. Yeah. They're pretty tight, yeah. <laughs> They're very tight. And so we should add, we've already taken the plastic off these, because these each had plastic wraps on them. Um, yeah. So yeah, we saved some time. And yeah, it's also the cool part, too, is you'll see if you turn it the other way. It it's basically, a TARDIS top. Yeah, it's, that's exactly right. It's a TARDIS top now, which is really pretty cute, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I saw I didn't interrupt you on that one, so. All right, so let's just go ahead and start opening. Okay. Uh, so this is series four, I guess. Yes, this, uh, this is wave four. And each one of these looks like it's going to come with this little pamphlet here, which shows us a nice cute little graphic of everybody in that line. And then on the back is the official checklist, so we can see who we're getting in this line. Who are we going to get? I don't know. Who? I just saw one of the people. Okay, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Okay, looking at this, who would you like to get? Well, I always like getting the Daleks, but uh, the War Doctor looks really good. I'm excited about that. Uh, Strax is cute. And of course, I, I think you want Captain Jack Harness. I always want Captain Jack. Who doesn't? Yeah. So we're going to get, uh, it looks like, two 12th Doctors and one 11th Doctor. And the rest is basically supporting cast. So we have Madam Vastra, War Doctor, Cyberman, Ironside Dalek. Oh, no, there are two Feigen. Claras. We do have two different Claras. Yeah, well, we have Clara Oswald and Oswin Oswald. Yeah. And they're really nice suited Strax. <laughs> yeah, and I like the Zygon, too. And the Cyberman. I want the War Doctor. I don't have enough War Doctor merch. You can never have enough War Doctor merch. So let's You're see. Right. Okay, you should do yours and I'm going to do a reveal. Because right. I'm feeling silly right now. I'm, okay. You well, clearly yeah. can't do that though, so. Forget Rawr. that idea. <laughs> all right, all right, show you it. Right, can, can you do it? I mean, I need to put the thing together. Oh, forget it, man. <sighs> Trying to give it a fancy Doctor Who-like entrance. And... Well, if you give me a minute, I'd have it ready. I mean... Okay, fine, fine. I'll give you a minute. You guys can look at this lovely page of everything. Okay, are you ready? No. He's, he's very stiff. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Woo! You got the Zygon! I got the Zygon. I got the Zygon. And you can't have none. And you can Okay. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about that? All right, and so they also come with the stand again. I'll show you how that looks once they're popped onto it. Um, plastic is very tight, unlike a Lego. It's a very tight fit. There we Probably go. Probably because that whole, you know, Lego has all those patents and stuff. Yeah, because Lego's patents, so we'll talk about that in a second. So, Andrew, I want to show us who you got. I wonder whoever it could be. Who? 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 All right, they're going to, like, leave us if we keep doing that. Okay, fine. Sorry, I had a, I had a New Day moment. I'm sorry. Because that, that, that's, like, the best thing. I can, I can combine my love of the New Day with my love of Doctor Who, and it totally works no matter what. Yeah, totally works. You know what? If you're not careful, I'm going to have to take... Slowly build the toy? 
Yes, I'm going to have to very slowly build a toy because this is so tight. He has a lot more pieces than mine did, but yeah. And also, quite frankly, that's right, I got yeah. me a doctor and he's going to take care of that Zygon. 12th doctor. So this came out basically right after, I guess, Capaldi oh, debuted. Mm hmm. I think they had this in the works. Yeah, this in the works. <laughs> there we go. Look how cute he is. Okay, the only thing that I gotta say I don't really like about this is he has some smiling. Yeah. And let's be honest, Capaldi did not smile a lot. They're all kind of friendly. It looks based on the packaging. They look. Oh, actually, no, we'll see. I guess we'll see as we go along. But yeah. Um. Yeah. So it. <laughs> Cute. So we'll show you guys in the next one how they all came in. But they, they came in pieces, and we had to put them together, as you just saw. We had to do that. Um, but, yeah, the detail is actually pretty nice on them. And I'll show you the back as well so you guys can see that. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. It's like this weird little attack. Like, it looks like somebody, like, smudged that with their finger. But otherwise, it looks it looks good. Um, yeah, the faces are pretty decent. I do wish they would gotten his bags, the eye bags. Yeah. That would have been a nice little detail. At this scale, I feel like this company probably couldn't handle that much detail. No. But it is cool. You got a nice sonic screwdriver. So that's yeah, a nice addition. Yeah, I, I like the screwdriver. It has a good, um, it has a good, it, it has a good detail. That, let's put it that way. It has good detail. Capaldi looks really fun and Capaldi-ish, like you know it's him. And that Zygon looks so cute and even, actually that face is really scary. Yeah, it's a good Zygon face. <laughs> that is like a horrific Zygon face. It's pretty great. I want to open more. Open more. All right. Let's go. go. Put these guys down, and this time we'll actually show you what they look like. So you can get one of yours, too. And, uh, so, all right, I got another new one. And... Oh, hold on. Before you do yours, I'm just going to show you. I got another Zygon. So. All right. So, well, there you, so you can show them. Then if you want to show them the pieces while I work on mine. Yeah, I'll we'll let show you. Show how it's put together, and you can discuss the plastic, because that's a, a thing the we're talking about. The plastic is... Whew. The plastic... You mean the tightness? <laughs> tightness, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Um... I think we've mentioned it before when we've done other constru construction bricks, construction sets. I mean, I think we've mentioned it before. Lego basically has a ton of patents in terms of how plastic is made, how things are put into bags and all this other stuff. So a lot of the companies, they can't do what, what Lego does, even if it wasn't intentionally trying to steal Lego's ideas. You know, like they're like, oh, let's do it this way. They can't if Lego has the patent. So it's, it's frustrating because stuff gets, you know, stuff gets me doesn't get um it's not as good a fit let's sorry there, there we go that's what i was trying to say it's not as good of a good of a fit always well this actually put together pretty well yeah this they, they, they really do it well but yeah i have a loose hand of mine as well Ooh, these are like super loose <laughs> i'm wondering it's funny because i'm wondering like there's some tightness and looseness i feel like part of that could be age and i'm sitting festering these boxes for a few years so that is true that could be part of what's happening because we've seen it with like titan merchandise as well sometimes I feel like part of that just could be the fact that they've been sitting in a box for a few years. Yeah, like in this case, um, it's not really fitting well on the stand, and there's a little bit of damage on the feet. That I'm, I'm totally putting down to age, because I think this is old. Look at my Zygon. He's like, he's got like crap hands. Crap. Well, your Zygon's gonna have to face the doctor. <gasps> it's number the eleven. Eleven doctor. Smith. With a long Ooh. coat tails there, and I gotta say, actually, for for figures this size and for a company we've never heard of. Paint jobs are actually pretty solid. Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm no, actually no. impressed by by the paint jobs. I mean, they're simple, but there's good detail and they're all pretty clean. Yeah, and it's like you know exactly what you're for something this small and this size. I mean, you know what you're getting. Yeah, exactly what you're getting and doing. Yeah, it's great. So that's cool. Let's yeah. keep going. Okay, on to the next. Hopefully, we don't have an army of zygons. Is yours a zygon? No. Mine is. <laughs> All right, well, here. Okay, so I'm not going to put this one together because I don't want an army of Zygon. Okay, you can have this one. That's how nice Yay! I got an extra one. I'm going to put you there. Actually, right. no. I'll give you this one instead. Uh-oh. Are you going to... Is this going to make me... <gasps> I'm super happy. It's Madame Vestra. You know, you can't really see because she's in a bag. And I'll, I'll show you what I got, too. I got a Cyberman. That's what I look like in the bag as well. Nice. I think that's the one I accidentally... Oh, I accidentally saw. Oh, now everybody we, knows yes, I saw a thing. When I took the pot, when we were trying to stack everything and the lid came off, I saw one, it was like crud, and then I mixed it all up. So that way I wouldn't know where it was. Okay. So yeah, these are, these are really quick to put together. They are, huh? Just this one's up. extremely tight. <laughs> so much so I really don't even, I can't really even oh, get his wow. head to turn on easily, but mm, oh, there God, we go, that's that's close enough. Coolest. Oh, oh, wow, okay, she's like. There you go. There's a Cyberman. Ooh. Delete, delete, delete. 
We're doing all the wrestling references, apparently. I'm sorry. I'm in a mood. I've been watching too much wrestling stuff. So the back of Cyberman, nothing's going on there. But oh, yeah, plenty of action in the front. <laughs> he, he's really, really business up front, party in the back. Nice. Okay, you guys are going to get a kick out of this because um, Adam Vestra's hand body is kind of loose. And that's... What are you trying to say about Madame Vastra? She's awesome, and I love her character, and she's, like, one of the best things. But, um... So so she kind of just came apart? <laughs> Cause it, what did you do to her? I didn't do anything to her. That's the crazy part. Okay, the Cyberman, she's going to have to delete you. But not on that one. With, with, oh, wow, she had some floppy wrists going she's on there. She's got like the floppiest wrists. That's really, really floppy. She's slicing his throat. What is this? This she's is barbaric. Sli- she's slicing his head. You're a monster. Well, yeah. But, but it's like, this is ridiculous. Okay, this this hand wasn't as bad. When I put it in originally, it just like, was like flop, yeah. flop, flop, flop. I mean, this is really loose, but it's so cool that she has these swords. That's some very <laughs> floppy sword action there. It is very floppy sword action, yes. And again, the back, not much going on there. Uh, well, it's you just, could, you know, but the detail to our head is really nice. Yeah, but yeah, her face, we'll have to put her arm down so you can see her face a little bit better. Mm. Um, but yeah, let's get her sword, maybe that'll clear up her face a little bit. But yeah, nice detail on the face again. Good, good paint job. I, I really, really nice paint job. I really like it. I mean, it makes me want to play with them. Yeah. You know, so I but, guess. So I have one more, you have two more. How'd that happen? So I gave you one. Oh, yeah. But hey, I got a double. I got another Cyberman. Ooh. So I'm not going to bother showing you guys that one. But yeah, another Cyberman. Who Wait did you minute. get? Wait a minute. I don't know if I got a dupe or I got a new. Oh. That's another dupe. I got a dupe. I got a Dr. Dupe. I got another 13th Doctor. All right, oh. then. Oh. Shelf. Shelf. 12th. Oh my gosh, I'm already thinking about the 13th Doctor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. Well, she's coming out soon, too, and we I actually know. did a review of her figure, uh, one of her first figures, by yeah. Titan Merchandise. Yeah, yeah, check it out. We had it before it was even shown at San Diego Comic-Con, so if you want to see it in hand, check out that video. Yeah, we're, uh, This is exciting. I mean, I love Doctor Who merch. They have, they have some really fun stuff. Yeah. You know, Doctor Who's always been... I might have gone into the fandom only like a few years ago, but it's just such a great fandom. Like they have like, ooh, his his he's tight. Huh. <laughs> yeah, nice. I said that. Okay, now if we're down to the last one. That means I have. Okay, so here's Doctor. He's looking good. He's looking all spiffy and Capaldi-ish. So who will our final one be? Who? Who will it be? Hurt Doctor. War Doctor. War Doctor. Not the Hurt Doctor. Not the Hurt Doctor. Oh, oh. John Hurt. You know. Ollivander. 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 Just open the bloody box. <laughs> who am I getting? Who am I getting? Do we have an army of Cybermen? No. <laughs> another dupe. I got ah. another doctor. Another 12th. Another 12th tw- doctor. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? Like, all seriously, right. my brain is already in Jody land. So, let's just throw all these guys up here then so you can see what we got. So, unfortunately, out of a line that had. Let's see how many were in here? I didn't, I didn't bother to count. We started oh, this thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 11, 12. Looks like they're 12. So out of 12 potential characters we could get with 10 boxes, we got a lot of dupes. Yeah. A lot of dupes um, here. I mean, the box that I got this from, that, that this was gotten from, I mean, it had a lot of, a lot in there. So part of me is wondering if that's why this was, it was so easy to get, you know, um, to get dupes because they really packed the box. Because, I mean, you guys can see it. This is small. Yeah, you know, like the, these boxes are small, so you can fit a lot in a box. And they do have, it looks like on, on the poster here, there is like some kind of rareness colors. Yes. So, uh, you know, it looks like, in terms of what we got, we basically got, I think, all the commons, more No, or less. we didn't get the Dalek. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a Dalek. We got a bunch of Cybermans. But Madame Vestra is a red, so that would mean she's one of the so, rare. Yeah. So we got one rare one here, and the rest are commons for the most part, or slightly uncommon, or uncommon I guess you yeah. could say, yeah. Yeah, it's commons or uncommons. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... There's not much you can say about that. I mean, it's it's cool. Disappointing we didn't get any others because yeah. look at these. These are actually pretty neat. I would have liked to have seen what they do with uh, oh, the others as well. I know. That would have been so much fun. Especially what they did with Clara because yeah. I like to see how they handle a female face. Uh, Captain Jack, Strax. Over there. They all have been cool. I actually would have liked to have seen more. And I think mm-hmm. if, I, if I found more of these, I'd find them. Oh, yeah. No, we find more of them, we're getting them. Yeah. Like, you, you don't have a choice of that matter. Okay. Well, fine by me. 
So, so yeah, yeah, final thoughts on these guys. Um, we, we got them for pretty cheap, I believe, right? You got yeah, we got, cheap. I, I got them for a good deal, um, in part because they're so old. Yeah. Um, I got them for a great deal. I would have, if I had known about it then, if I'd been invo involved in the fandom around that time, I would have gotten them anyway because they're just, they're really cool. Yeah. I, I like them a lot. Uh, they're better than I thought they were going to be, honestly. Yeah. I didn't expect them to actually be this good looking. Uh, see, it's hard to do them all stand. I'll put this guy Oh down my here. gosh, now I'm thinking about it. I think I remember that um, ages ago. That they there used to be sort of like a, a construction set and yeah. stuff. I yeah. think I might have an Amy Pond somewhere at home. That's what I was talking about because I know there's a, I think there's the same company did a Tardis set. Yeah. A bunch of other sets with like other characters. So. Yeah, I, I think I'm vaguely remembering, and I think I have um an Amy, and I might even have a Rory. No. Okay. So if I ever find and possibly a Dalek too. Okay, that's what means I probably had like wave. Um, two or three. Yeah. So. so that's exciting to know. So I can't wait to, put, to find it and you know put it all integrate everything. Yeah. But I don't know how many waves there are, but this is wave four, and this is what we got. And there's at least a few more before that, and we don't yeah. know about afterwards. But yeah. this is wave four of the Doctor Who micro figures. Yeah. If you guys know anything else about them, you know, please comment below. And yeah, so here we go. This was fun. Nice little, you know, flashback. Yeah. Flashback Monday. <laughs> I guess it is. It no, doesn't really work. Not, no, not so it much. It doesn't work. No, good try, though. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Doctor Who micro figures by Character Building Options Limited. <laughs> Terrible name, but Terrible. good toys. Good toys. Yeah. If you like Doctor Who, get these. These are cool, and they'll fit with your Legos. Absolutely. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. You might be the master, though, the way you're laughing. <laughs> Hi. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.